Why do Filipino wives make great wives? Um, I'm not just talking about my own life here. I'm talking about several people I know. The, the reality is you've got a wife that actually understands the playing field of life. Um, you've got somebody that actually wants to be with you. You've got somebody that actually is driven as a family unit and not as an individual. In the West, we're sold as individuals. And I say sold because we're pretty much slaves to the system in some form. And I know some people may not like to hear it, but I i mean, I, I'm a converted. Um, I come from a military family, which actually go, we've got one of the oldest military family names in British history. Because um, we've, we've been there since Battle of Stirling, if not further in Scotland um, anyway but the the point is you've got a companion that is not just stilettos and lipstick you've got a partner uh, that can often kill animals you've got an animal um, a partner that knows how to survive on their own you've got a partner that understands what it's like to have nothing because in the West, people go, I've got nothing, um, which means that they haven't had a new um, Xbox game or uh, new makeup for a week or two. Uh, you can decide which one of those is male and which one's female. <laughs> um, but the, the point is, in the Philippines, poor means poor. This is why there's very strong family bonds, because, I mean, even... I was talking to April's uncle about uh, how I started some of the stuff I was doing when I was at school, because I used to skip meals. Um, I used to... This when I was at Richmond. Um, I went to Richmond school. Uh, I used to get bus fare, and then I wouldn't get the bus. I'd walk 10 miles, because then I could actually buy computer magazines. <laughs> So I used to uh, use my bus fare money and my lunch money to buy computer magazines. That's why I'm quite computer literate. Um, but he was saying if he skipped a meal, he would pass out because <laughs> they weren't eating enough already. He's pretty big in Cebu. He's quite funny because he plays himself down so much. Um, but I think he has a respect for me because I'm self-made and he understands that because he's self-made. Um, it, it, he's very very funny because he plays it down as like I'm a poor Filipino he's got five people that look after him at his house he has a woman come and do his masseur and nothing on towards because he takes his wife shopping regularly and stuff as well he's not he's not a womanizer or anything he's quite a cool guy um, but the, the point being getting back to what I'm saying is a Filipino wife understands how to survive western women often will do that it's not going right everything's going wrong it's all your fault a filipino wife will look at you and turn around and see that you're stressed frustrated and trying everything you can to make it work they pick you up instead of pull you down if they even have something negative they will keep it to themselves. Generally, a good wife will not go, it's all your fault, unless they've been westernized a fair bit. <laughs> they see a husband as the breadwinner. They also see that when the times are hard, that they will go the extra mile. I might be talking from my own perspective on that bit, though, because I do work ridiculous hours. and um, But generally, women are. They, they, they understand their partners you're going to understand a lot of them come from OFW families where their p parents relatives etc have been overseas for a long period of time so they understand sacrifice more than you'll find in a western woman now I'm not running western women down they do that quite well themselves um, Kardashians that's what I'm saying um, but Filipino women are fantastic in comparison and it's not me being, oh, Matt, the uh, sexist pig, blah, blah, blah. It's nothing to do with that. I like a traditional life. I, I don't... Because the, the problem in the West, there's no direction. There's no direction. Um, you, 
guy, breadwinner, makes money, goes home, wife, works, doesn't come home, goes with manager she works with, etc. There is no direction in the West. In the Philippines, there is a direction. Good husband looks after the wife. Wife looks after the house. Wife looks after the kids. As long as the guy's paying all the bills and taking care of the wife, she will take care of everything else. It's why when you get married in the Philippines, you give a little basket of coins because the, it's the handing of the wealth to the wife, the coins, to, for her to manage the, the house and the family budget because you earn it, then you hand it over. I have no issue with that. My wife has access to all of my money. And am I scared? I know some expats go, oh my God, what, what if my wife did that? If your wife would do that to you, then you married the wrong woman. I look at the other thing. If I got hit by a bus, I need my wife and kids to be taken care of. That's the only thing I care about. Myself, I will survive. It's like when I left my ex before. I just took a bag of clothes and left. I left the car, left the house, left everything. Because for me to recover would take no time at all, a month. Um, but she would never be able to gain the financial ability I, I have because it's driven by ability. Because I have no hate of my ex. My ex is westernized. The society that makes her the way she is was there before I arrived from my more rounded world because I didn't live in the UK till 1989. I spent most of my life overseas. I've, should I do a video about me? I'll do a video about me in the next video because then you'll understand why I'm a little bit different in perspective. Um, why I have no racism issues, why I have no uh, issues against anything except I just ask one thing, people to think. Um, but Filipino women are the way women should be. And I'm not knocking it. I'm not saying, oh, well, you're trying to take all these women's rights and stuff. My biggest idol in the Philippines is Miriam. Um, Miriam is, if you don't know her, just look up. Let me find the book for you. Uh, it's Miriam Defensor Santiago, and the book is Forever Stupid. I'll put her wiki link in the comments here go and have a look at her because if you don't know who she is she will inspire you because you know when you get quite frustrated with some of the stuff in the philippines with the corruption and stuff miriam is like duarte a very strong characters that that they're like me I, you know they are like me they the way i just say it and stuff um not that i'm trying to run for government heaven forbid I did what they they're trying to do in the the Philippines at the moment because uh, maybe I should run for government anybody want to vote for me 